Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the Pixie Palace. I am a day early. Yes, I'll still be doing my Mindful Monday tomorrow, but I wanted to do a brief card reading just to bring back the Oracle card aspect to my channel. And I'm using the old title Crystals and Cards. And it still really resonates with me, so I'm starting to do these again. And again, it's going to be just on the fly and we'll see how it goes. But I wanted to set the tone for the week with this reading. We're going to jump right into it. There's no actual intro to that reading. I just kind of went right into it. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you gain some value. And if you do like it, please give me a like. It really helps my channel. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So now with all of that, let's get into it. So now we're going to do a one card draw from the Oracle card deck, Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay get the light out of the way and boy it would be nice if I could get this centered with the camera one of these days <laughs> um, I already shuffled the cards I cleared it and everything and it just gives um, a card for the week and if it resonates for you that's great if it doesn't totally resonate for you that's fine as well this is just to give you an idea of the energies that we're dealing with the energies have been very intense <laughs> And very very uh, vibrant if you will so um, this will kind of give us a sense of direction so all right let's see huh oh that's interesting okay not quite what I expected but it never usually is all right try to get the unfortunately the way this material is it really reflects the light look in a book I'll put a close-up of the card so you guys can see it so it's look in a book Whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. Now this could be in a book or a magazine or a newspaper, any of those um, literal things, but it also could be in a discussion with a family member or friend or something you hear on the uh, radio or TV. Um, it could even be in the language of nature. If you're out in nature, take a moment without music and all that. Just really listen to the breeze, listen to the trees, because they all speak their own language. Um, it could be even an action that uh, someone takes and just something that happens that really resonates for you and gives you that insight. And the universe usually points out a lot of different signs, especially the answers to our questions, at least in some form. But we're always so in our heads and so busy that we don't always take the time to notice them. So be a little more open today, a little more mindful of your surroundings and what's going on. And most likely um, this week that will open up some answers for you. We won't always have our, all of our questions answered, but at least give you some type of insight. Uh, maybe in a decision to make or um, how to react or be proactive something so that's what I got from it I hope it resonates for you in some form I hope you guys like the video please click like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and again let me know if you'd like me to start doing the YouTube shorts of a daily card reading um, I would be glad to do that I think it would be a lot of fun again I'm not gonna put any timeline on it or how long I'll do it but as long as it feels right, I would definitely do something like that. But let me know if there's some interest and more interest and more input I have, the more likely that will come to fruition. And don't forget to check out my podcast, Coffee Cards and Pixie Dust. There's a new episode every Tuesday. A lot of the time it's a Mindful Monday since a lot of people don't have time to watch the videos. But there's also other content as well. So definitely check that out and all the other links below. So I hope you guys have a great week. So until the next time, to know thyself is to know thy truth. Namaste.